Could I give you something to give to Karina? What'd you have in mind? I wanted to burn a mix CD for her. A wonderful idea. But in giving her a gift, what... Yeah, what that, you, that's what like it, a communication outside the group, right? Well... Um, Ezra, I'm just curious. Why can't you have relations outside this room? Does it sully what we do here? Is what well, It feels like we're almost being sequestered and we're in a jury room and we can't discuss anything that happens outside this room. And I just want to know why. I mean, what is the harm of her sharing a piece of herself? So there's no harm in wanting to share a piece of herself. The value of putting words to uh, impulse, of putting words to desire, is that um, an exchange takes place. A human interaction takes place. There's something nourishing for Tilda, and there's something nourishing for Karina sure. in this exchange. Mm -hmm. When Tilda's talking to Karina, she's not just talking to Karina. She's talking to two or three other people. Yes, but there's so much that music says that words don't. So if you could share a piece of music that uh, would convey something to the group about you and who you are, what would that piece of music be? I don't know that I can give a, a, an accurate answer to that no, question. No, come on, do give, it. Give an inaccurate answer. She goes, this is what it feels like to me right now. It feels like you are at a pool and you're seeing us all swim in it and you keep telling us how great the pool is and how wonderful it must be to swim in that pool. I would push you to instead of hanging out here and thinking about what the pool is, to jump in with us. I understand. Okay, I appreciate that. <laughs> Didn't do it for you, did it? No, Manny, I don't know Manny, why, but Manny, it, did. it did. It did in a way. Manny's a very passionate fellow. Mm. And I think uh, you're being as, uh, as available as you know how to be mm -hmm. at the moment. I think you're doing a very good job. You congratulating him and telling him, you know, good job, like you're doing a good job. Yeah. It made me feel jealous that I can't have that with my dad or hear my dad say that to or me. Or with Ezra. Or with Ezra, yeah. Well, it is sad to think that you can't have that with your father, but why can't you imagine having that with me? Your father was a high school biology teacher. Yeah. He never got his doctorate, but he wants you to have a doctorate. Is that right? That is right. That's sad. I mean, it's wonderful in one way, but it's sad in another way that he doesn't really know you. But he sees potential in me, right? That's well, good. Well, he sees potential. He, he's helped you in many ways. You are a PhD student at a very fine university. Yeah. But it seems to me you're telling us that we don't and I don't see you as much as you'd like to be seen, that you want to be known for your passion. And right now, your passion is not microbiology. It's gaming. That was an appropriate emphasis point. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> so so why, not, why not embrace yourself here? Why not help us embrace your vision of what you want to grow into? Now, you just shook your head no to something. No, I... I, I... No, you did. What did you shake your head no to? Well, I'm frustrated with myself. I'm angry at myself. What are you angry with yourself for? Anger is not meant to be directed at you. Because you're right, and I hate that you're right, because that's a problem in me that I need to deal with. No, so I'm reminding you of your father. Your father loved to be right. He lorded it over you. Yeah. I don't want to do that with you. I want you to be right about you. I want the group to understand you. So what do we need to know about you today to help you take the next step? He always says no first. It's because he's about to cry. It's OK to cry. What are the tears about? I guess I'm frustrated. Um, I don't know. I feel I just I, I keep people pleasing, whether it be my father or whether people, people around me. Um, it's a lot sometimes. It's a terrible burden, Stuart, to be a people pleaser. It is. I, I think the fact that you just let whatever happened happen is so admirable. I'm so fucking proud of you, man. I want to give you a huge hug. I wish I could, following the rules, whatever. What do you, with your words, you can do anything. I'm hugging you. 
<laughs> but seriously, that's, I think that's a big breakthrough, and I don't want us to ride over that. My heart is beating so fast. I was so moved by the way you were with Stuart. You were like the best father that I can imagine. You need that too. You know what you want from me at the moment? I guess I just want you to see me. And if I could say uh, something about seeing you, what would I say that would convince you that I see you? That it's okay for me to take up space and to have all the feelings I have and to have made the mistakes I've made. Absolutely. <laughs> Karina, your being here in this group has added a lot of life to this process. It's hard, it, I don't, I, Manny, <laughs> it's very hard for me to believe him and. Why? He just, that was uh, so genuine. I don't think anybody in this room didn't think that he just meant that. No, but, but, but try to stay with Corina's difficulty. She, she asked me for something, I began to give it to her. And now she's telling you how difficult it is for her to accept it. I, and I recognize that because I see you do it every week. You do? Yeah, of course. You have a really what hard time doing? accepting love. You do. But she's very aware of how much she needs it. Yes. And wants it. What is that? What type of cheap answer is that? To just give her what she, like, she basically was like, I need you to act, I need you to do this for me. And you were like, okay, yes, you bring life to the group. What's wrong with that? Karina has a need for something she never got enough of. Yeah, we all have that. <laughs> That's right. Uh -huh. So why do you mind it if um, I can provide some of that for her? Okay. Or the group can provide it for I her? I guess I'm upset with myself. I'm disappointed with myself that I can't provide it for you. Like, I wish oh. I could, I wish I could, Oh. I wish I could help you. I wish so I could change. frustrating you, you feel helpless? No, I she's, she's jealous of me. She's jealous of you. I have a power with you that she doesn't have with you. Fair to say? Yeah, but I don't think you do either. I may not. We'll have to see. But at the moment, it looked like what I said did touch Karina. Enough so that she fled. Yeah, she oh, fled. okay. Well, then she that's fled great. Very then I, quickly. Wish, I, wish every, I wish we all could. I wish I could touch you. I wish you could touch right, yourself. Wait a second now. That didn't sound exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, you don't know how, how deeply connected you are to Karina and how much your words might mean to her at some moment in this process. You undercut yourself. Do you understand that? Do you know that about yourself? No. You sometimes talk about yourself as the youngest person in the group and therefore uh, you have less power. I'm not sure that's true. I'm immediately going in my head and being like, yeah, but Tilda, you don't know how to. Yeah, yeah but, there, there it is, yeah, but. So you're doing what I do. I know. Ah. <laughs> study, study Karina and you're gonna learn a lot about yourself. Mm -hmm. That yeah, but is uh, a way of undoing any possibility that Stuart's ideas about you or Karina's ideas about you or Manny's ideas about you can become part of your idea about you. Remember, you came into this group with a tenement full of voices in your head. A lot of loud talking. A lot of undermining talking. Do you know in New York City, uh, if you own a building, you have rights? You can move a tenant out of a space that you want to occupy. You can't get rid of them, but you can move them to the back of the building. You can move into the building in the front where there's sunlight. So I'd like you to think about moving some of those voices in your mind to the back of your mind and install, begin to install the voices of these people in the front of the building. How do you go about that? Make room for Henry's voice, Rebecca's voice. When they something, say, say something to you that strikes you as true about you, make room for it. Don't reject it so quickly. Don't do a yes but. If you do a yes, but, start to notice it. Study it like 
like Stuart studies uh, microbes. You study this like a scientist studies it. Oh, there it is. I did it again. Yes, but I wonder what I'm up to. What am I trying to interfere with? You do that, we'll make progress. You just shook your head yes to something. And I'd like that. I'd like that for you. It's so loud. <laughs> What's so loud? It's a tenement. Yeah, it's like a fucking circus. Tilda, I think you're an incredible individual, young woman. And I see so much of my younger self in you. And you pack a mean punch. <laughs> you're a really powerful woman. And, um, I know it's hard sometimes to let it sink in when we tell you, but, but I know that you know, I know that you know what you have. And it actually, it really inspires me week after week coming, coming here and it's liberating to hear you talk and speak so freely about how you feel, what you think and your honesty. How are your words affecting Tilda now, do you know? I, I'm trying to reach in real deep. Just slow, slow down a little bit. Give her room to respond. You've been very generous. I love you. How are these words affecting you? My heart's picking up and I got these things dripping out of my eyes. <laughs> How's the sound in your mind? Well, that was nice. Then it was, it was just you. And I just heard, pack a meat punch, pack a meat punch, <laughs> pack a meat punch. But you're also very funny. Thank you. That's what I appreciate. I appreciate a lot about you, but you're really funny. Is that okay to be funny this in this room? This makes me so In nervous. this room? Yeah. How else are we going to survive? Well, I hope so. <laughs> I really do. I love, I love that. On, that. on that note, I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> <laughs>